guys, Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page two, uh, Voyage Beneath the Sea. And um, we're gonna start out by putting down these three strips. There's gonna be two pockets on this page. It's a pretty simple page. There's no magnets on this page, and I did that deliberately because on the flip side, page one, there's a lot of magnets. Um, so we're gonna keep this one pretty simple. It's still a lot of fun, but it's simple. These strips are a half inch each, and we're gonna place these on the outside edge, and this one's gonna be centered. And I should have checked to make sure, yeah, that I was putting these in the right orientation, and I am, <laughs> but that was just luck. These have an orientation, this is the up, and I, I just verified that um, that's the right direction for page one. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna use my Tim Holtz ruler and find my center line, and then we're gonna add this last one. It's a very warm day here in San Diego, so I need to make sure I'm capping my glue because everything's drying out very quickly. So I'm putting a half inch gap here. So if you don't have a Tim Holtz ruler, measure five and a quarter in, five and a quarter in, two tick marks, and that is where the center, that's where this is gonna lie. I'm gonna do it on the top and bottom. <coughs> so I don't accidentally get it in at a diagonal. Okay. it kind of made a mess luckily it dries clear okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add two pockets to the bottom like so and these pockets are five and three quarters by six so five and three quarters across and six inches deep, you're gonna score a half inch on three of the four sides. <clears throat> and because it's not square, make sure you're scoring on the left and right hand side of the five and three quarter inch wide portion. And these are gonna get mounted flush with the bottom of this pocket page. So we're just gonna mount it right down here. It's gonna slightly overlap these two outside um, strips. And that is the way it's supposed to work. There we go. I'm gonna repeat that process. Here we go. Perfect. OK, 
Okay, so the next thing is, this is the paper that I chose for the pocket. I'm gonna get my, um, my contrast sheet out so that I can see the edges. There we go. Looks pretty, pretty. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to set this aside for a second and then we're going to work on the inserts. Yep, that's it. Hard to tell, but it's inked. Okay, and then we're gonna pull in the, the pattern from the pocket to go uh, right here. <clears throat> Along the top. Pretty. We're going to repeat that process right here. piece here. There we go. So these are our two inserts. Now here's the paper that I planned to go as the pocket liner, but I'm, I'm rethinking that right now. So I'm going to stick these in and see how I like it. But it might just be too much blue, and I'm thinking about possibly um, using a different contrast here. And we could probably, I have to see if I've got something big enough. It needs to be... three and a half inches. <clears throat> so those won't work. <clears throat> so let's take a look at just this as the backdrop. Hmm. That's too much orange. Something like that. I think I, if I'm going to do an alternate color, a contrast color, it would be yellow. So let's take a look at this. What do you guys think? I think it's worth trimming to see. Let's see. Okay, 
Let's just take a look and see. Yep, I like that better. That was just too much blue going on, I think. I'm going to trim one down just to see. Because when you add those black borders, it makes a big difference in terms of breaking up the patterns. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking I like the yellow, but we'll test it real quick. <clears throat> So those are our choices. And I am leaning for the polka dots. So let's make sure I've got enough paper for that. Is this white enough? It is. Is this white enough? Yeah, it's going to work. Okay, that's, that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to ink these edges, make sure they're... <clears throat> goes this way. Okay, and I'm going to add two pieces of chipboard right up to the top here of each of the tags. So, let's see. <clears throat> trying to decide which, which chipboard piece do I want to use. Let's see what this one looks like. It's not very much of a contrast, is it? I like this one. Okay, now I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat these real quick. Then we're going to attach them to the top, and then this is going to slide behind it, and that's what's going to keep this card closed. So we're going to apply it like so. It's going to be centered up here. Okay. 
actually this might be too big. Hmm. I'm, I'm rethinking it. I think these are too big. So I've got these smaller ones. There's two of them. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. We'll ink it real quick. <clears throat> And then you want to um, you want your chipboard to hang over this piece, but no glue on it. So only glue the top part of the chipboard because you're going to want to be able to pull that out like so. So this part has no glue on it, and this will tuck underneath it. <clears throat> like so. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time over here. And I'm using my grid to get this in straight. So there's my center line. I think that turned out pretty. What do you guys think? It's not glued yet. I gotta hold on to it for a second. Pitch that down. I like it. I like it, I like it. Nope, too busy. Okay, that is page, what page is it? Page two. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll continue working on the book when we get back. Uh, I'm going to go upload this.